This video demonstrates how to download QGIS for working on a Mac. There's a companion video for working on MS Windows machines. You need to open a browser and then type in QGIS.org or do a web search on QGIS that will point you to this QGIS.org. You'll get a page that shows a download button. And below the download button, there are two versions. There's the latest version, this 3.16.3, and then the long-term release with an LTR. In this case, the long-term release is 3.10.14. I usually download and use the long-term releases and update them when there's a new long-term release. If you want, you can try this latest version. All of our videos that will subsequently follow will be using the long-term release, the current one. It is good to check back, though, because as the new long-term release comes out at some point, it's 3.22 or 24, whatever it'll be, it's good to use those. So you download the installer here. If I left-click, and on a Mac, that downloads it to my download folder. That's what I set as my default. Yours may be different, but most folks, it's their downloads folder. And you can usually find that by going to the Finder window and looking for the downloads on your primary disk. It'll take a bit because I have a relatively slow internet connection, so it took about eight minutes. Uh, I downloaded it before, so you see the new version downloading, and this is the old copy. So we're going to pretend that we waited till the end. And then I'll double left click then on the download when it's done downloading in this case, and it will start to unpack this installer. And you'll get a screen that asks you if you want to agree to the licenses. Go ahead or read the fine print if you want. I've already read it. There's nothing special there. And then it'll unpack the installer. And that might take a few minutes. In my case, since I've already done this before, it remembers and has a version there. So it depends on how fast your system is. It's as simple then as just dragging, left-clicking and holding on the queue icon and dragging to your applications folder and it copies the stuff there and will load your QGIS, copy the application. This will take a bit and we'll come back when it's finished. And so now it's finished and I have my QGIS then here installed and so I will double left click on that QGIS to start the program. Now it also puts a desktop icon and I can drag it down to my tools bar and park it there but you could always go to the applications folder because those are just shortcuts to the software sitting here so if I double left click it will open QGIS with this splash screen and that splash screen may be preceded by a request to load software that was downloaded from the internet so answer yes to that in my case again since i've done this before it already recognizes it as a safe image to load up and i have a start screen then for qgis indicating that yes it's downloaded now yours may look slightly different since i've used it before i have recent projects in a folder that show those projects sitting there and if you've not used QGIS as this your first installed it won't find those and won't show those and so you're ready to go